I've seen that the Zoom 500 pool is running right now. Why not? Good old times, play a little Zoom 500 and see how it goes. So pocket jacks, I'm just going to jam. Um, calling is fine, jamming is fine. I'll, let's rip it in. Cool, let's get into it. So I haven't been playing much lately, a summertime, just always low times for me, enjoying family time and yeah, free time a little as well, traveling. Let's see how things go. Try to play close to the books right now because um, I'm, I'm not in the grind mode. It's not like I, I know better right now. Try to play somewhat reasonable eight nine suited. I'll go for three bet all the time. Against that sizing, it's kind of large sizing, slightly deep, I think I'm actually priced in. Solver says so, but it's really, really close and the risk is uh, just quite, quite high. And I think he raises a little bigger uh, than what I'm used to. So actually I'll, I'll make, a, yeah, skip that spot that I'm not 100% confident in. So here on the gun versus uh, button, we can check or we can bet small uh, two options. This is a two street hand. I don't need protection really. He starts off with a, with a huge bet, polarizes right away. So my hand is a bluff catcher from now on pretty much. Obviously not folding uh, flop. And yeah, he's going direction all in. I have all kinds of ace queen. I can have pocket queens. I have sets. So ace jack uh, from now on, I cannot improve against ace queen anymore. It's an absolute dog shit random call. It will be indifferent right now. So I'll, I'll let it go. Um, it's a spot where uh, back when I played a lot, it's, it was incredibly under bluff. They say it's suited, easy open. I got the call. Uh, we can check. We can bet. We can check call. And we can actually check raise as well. Uh, I'll roll to check. I randomize a little here. Here and there. Blind versus blind, typical trade off board. Here, I think I'll go big. It's not like I need to go crazy, crazy over bet. Uh, any sizing is fine. Check is fine also. Queen six suited. 100% call. Flopping two pairs, obviously nice. Some raises, some calls. I'm going for a race, so um, this should be pot on that texture. I want to have a big raise. Ace, jack against a good player. Uh, I think it's okay for Seabed, okay, uh, not Seabed, it's, it's fine. He goes for the tiny check raise. Uh, I think I can call once here. Uh, I block some of the 3x that he has. So um, yeah, seven, obviously a horrible card. Folding is, is fine on the flop also. I think this doesn't really make sense. I wonder, just because this is wrapping seven or six here now, value betting, lots of seven, five, but I'll, I'll let it go. Three bet pot here. I think I can get away with a, with a range bet. I could implement a smaller size against these lower pockets as well. So cutoff open raise, small blind flat, uh, half stack, I overcall. Not interested in playing against the cutoff here too much. Trying to check down, win sometimes. Now we got a queen. I think that CG still has most of the queen X, but I can't really check race since he has king queen a lot. Uh, I think I need to use a big size, grab this queen that I'm having, get back some out of queen 10, queen nine, should be close to check race. Your uh, call is fine, uh, four bet is fine, let's roll it. And uh, I think 30, does it qualify for four bet? I'm not sure, that's the number I was I was hoping to not get. And slightly deeper, I prefer the four bet, just his five bet jamming risk reward is a little worse. This year, ace, queen, five. We can check that a lot and use large sizing where we can actually bet high frequency with a small sizing. Both options are valid by this strategy. Ace, six, my kicker is still playing. I think we go for two streets here. Six, five here, three way, I think. They should be fine. Flopping trips, obviously great. Small bet is fine. Bigger bet is fine. Uh, just my board. So definitely uh, betting, betting a lot. I want to bet a nine as well. So I keep my range together here and I will split river a little. And here again, this guy min betting boards like this uh, that I think is not good. That's just not enough. So I want to implement more raises and same texture. I want to use a big size uh, king four of clubs. Qualifies, I roll the number that I'm happy with raising. And uh, I will do that with like ace four off suit with the ace of clubs, like some king of clubs. And and stuff like that. Here, 32 big blinds. I think my hand qualifies for a three bet. And he got it. So, top right, interesting. Obviously, every ace has his beat. I think this is the king that we are not block betting and uh, check call instead because we have so much 6x. We want to play that the same. Yeah, we block the 6x he might call with. So, yeah, let's take this as a check call. Ace nine, okay, slow place. Feels okay to lose that amount with a three pair against trips. Open ender, double gutter. And against small sizing, we, we are raising quite something. I uh, guess a check, we mix it. We roll the bet, we're definitely using a big sizing here, a 125%. Also jack, um, 
Beautiful card for our range. We have, I mean, he has more king queen, I guess, but obviously we have some seven nine, we have some queen nine. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we have the jack. We are winning against some 10x, uh, like some 10x of spades that he's chasing. We realize equity is a clear check and we now um, hope to not face a bet, but I think we actually have quite an easy fold. We'll be indifferent in theory, just not finding the bluffs. King 10, yeah, I think King 10 of diamonds is uh, already very close or indifferent on the flop against our sizing. Queen Jack suited, check or bet is both fine on that board. I actually rolled check this time. A is beautiful for our range, very bad for our hand. Uh, so we'll check again and I guess big bet. This is not a snap call. He has any ace X and he checks all of them on the, on the turn. So it's really uh, tough to be over bluffing here if you don't come up with like random, random shit bluffs. Uh, I'll roll it 50-50. And I rolled a call, but I don't like the spot at all. Like so many offsuit aces that all play like that. Any ear is like so likely to give up uh, when I'm checking back that. King eight will be defend here against the half stack. Half pot with calling. Fuck jacks, easy open. We are slightly deeper, that makes it worse, obviously. Don't want to stack off 127 bigs, but still the value is in four betting against tens, nines, eights, getting those calls in. King eight, I'm chopping against anything. I think it's a check, decide. Check, check, oh fuck, queen's well, someone isn't it. Okay, eight, six suited, easy call. Some frequency raising here, They're like 20, 15 to 20% frequency I'm going for. I can see check with all options. I think high frequency bet, but not 80% plus. So actually I'm checking this one back. Take the free card. Think again and check here with eight, six. Now small bet is, a, is an option, but yeah. I'll, I'll go for check, river two pair. Not too bad either. And that should be good enough for a normal size 75% bet. Queen 10 over call is actually close with the button flat here, um, but yeah. The fives and fours are heavily in his button flatting range here. I guess small size we're happily calling and then go from there. Uh, so tank a little. Small check raise is an option also. I kind of like that. Why not? He's checking range. Now I'm uncapped. He sits there with jacks, with king 10 and stuff like that and already doesn't know what to do really. He calls uncapped fives, fours. Yeah, I'm always behind. He's not calling any worse hands. Like six, seven, maybe. Plays like that. So on that ace, I think I'm checking range after this action. This calling range should be clearly stronger than my check raising range. So I can check like pocket fives as well, stuff like that. And now we check that down, check, check, and we win. 10 8 suited. Okay, I think he needs, I mean, he needs to turn that into a bluff at some point. I mean, he doesn't expect me to check raise a better 10 ever, it seems like, but that felt some like some free money. <laughs> I take it. Queen 9 suited is a, is a solid frequency 3 bet, I th uh, think. Let's go for it. Folding out queen 10 offsuit, queen jack offsuit, king queen offsuit, ace 9 offsuit, king, uh, king 9 should be in his range, but there's lots of good stuff happening. I'm not folding suited hand, blind versus blind. Nope, we got a pair. We are definitely calling, not the one we want to raise. We want to have more clean two pair outs, not, not ones that brings us straight there once we hit. Now, are we betting sometimes? I'm unsure. Just check. Uh, not a good card either. And this, um, Actually, this is an okay catcher, I think, but I prefer the bluff. Deuces are something that he can check on the turn, so still good to block those. And the nine is just a good hand. I have king nine, eight, nine myself. I play that way. Seems reasonable. No clue about solver choice here, but it's it's not horrible. I'm unblocking his bluffs, so calling is an option. Whenever calling is an option, we can think about raising as well. 